I'm going to practice decision making for Siamese Mahjong using National Mahjong League rules. When you first get the drawn tiles for Siamese Mahjong, it can be a little overwhelming. Player 1 gets 28 tiles and player 2, 27. That's a lot of tiles. When I do random pulls, it's a great way to practice finding a direction to go based on the strengths of a drawn hand. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. We're going to roll these dice. If I roll an odd number, we're going to be player one. Even will be player two. I rolled an odd, so we're going to be player one. We'll get 28 tiles. Okay, here we go. Look at all these wins. N E W S. I wonder if we could do a pair hand. We have all the no. I was thinking we had all the fives, but we don't. We have two fives, one pair of sixes, we have two sevens, two eights. I don't think I would try the news pair hand. If I had one of every tile. I might try it. Oh, we do have twos. News with twos. This would be the very first hand. I think I would hold it as an option because we do have a Pung of South. Maybe we could play the concealed news hand. Those two hands are great in tandem. In case maybe the pair hand doesn't work out, you can switch to news concealed. We need another hand down here. We have a 6-8. We have 5 through 9. All right. Five, six, eight, five, seven, seven, eight, nine. What about six, seven, eight with sevens? I think what I would do is play either news concealed or news with twos and then play five through nine consecutive run. I would not pick a hand. Although if we get seven dots, we could maybe play six, seven, eight with sevens, the concealed hand under consecutive run. But I would not pick a hand. I would hold every five through nine until a pattern emerged. It'd be nice if we could use the six, eight. That's why I was thinking of six, seven, eight with sevens, but that's a big gap. A gap with a pair, that's major. So I think that's what I would do here. If you would do something different, write pull one and what you would do with these tiles. We're going to go to the next one. I rolled an even, so we're going to be player two. Look at all those dots. We have four flowers. I wonder if we could do an addition hand. Five, six, eleven, five, seven, twelve, eight, five, thirteen, eight, five, three, eight, 
five, three. This hand is set. We could Kong Kong ready to win on a one. I think that is a done deal there. That could be a winner. Not necessary, but my OCD says to put it in that order. All right, now we need something down here. We could maybe do three, six, nine. We have eights up here, so I don't think I would do two, four, six, eight. I don't think I would do evens. I think we could maybe do a year hand. We don't have a white dragon, but we do have two, one, nine, nine. There's a one. I think what I would do here is hold the three, six. I think I would try for maybe a year hand or three, six, nine. So I would hold those. We have five discards, but really we probably have more like eight discards. Addition, eight, five, 13. Year hand or three, six, nine. If you would do something different here, write it in the comment section below. I just wondered if we could do a different addition hand to make this better. The options are six or seven, and we do have six is in a two but this is where the multiple is this is one away from ready to win two away we need to kong and kong i think i would leave it three six nine or year and then addition let me know what you think about that this is pull two we'll do this one more time box cars or jokers in this case that's an even number so we're going to be player two. That's it for Winds and Dragons. No flowers, one joker, lots of dots and lots of bams. Two, four, six, eight. We do have a lot of two, four, six, eight. And we do have some three, six, nine also. The challenge there is the sixes. So we could do, let's see, we have seven, eight, nine, five, seven, nine. We have no, only one five. I was thinking maybe we could do a pair hand since we only have one joker. Three, six, nine. We have no three dot, no three crack, but we have a pair of threes there. What about consecutive run one through four and then five through nine? Just divide it. Let's see what we can do. Nine, 
One, two, three, four, four. One, two, three, four, four. There's this hand. Fourth one down under consecutive run. One, two, three, four, four. I don't think I would pick a hand yet. I would gather. So I would hold one through four to start with, but there is potential for that hand. Then up here, we could do, we have sevens and nines, five, seven, seven, nine. That's not a lot of usage there. Look at all these discards. What about the five, seven, nine pair hand? We're really light on fives though. There is potential for that though. What about six, seven, eight, nine, nine? Let's just put that upside down for a minute. Six, seven, eight, nine, nine. Six, seven, eight, nine, nine, same hand. I would say that I would play five, seven, seven, nine, or maybe the five, seven, nine pair hand or consecutive run six through nine, six, seven, eight, nine, nine. I think I would start by discarding these one through four, five through nine, or five, seven, nine, and then six through nine. Really, even I would hold these sixes. That's a lot of tiles though. We have two discards, six, seven, eight, nine, nine, no gaps, five, seven, five, seven, seven, nine, We really didn't use any of those. Six, seven, eight, nine, nine, or five, seven, seven, nine. So I would say to be reasonable, we probably have seven discards, eight discards really, but I would hold all five through nine and just gather until I'm comfortable with the multiples. If we did five, seven, seven, nine, that would use all the multiples there. If we did six, seven, eight, nine, nine, we would also use the multiples there. We could maybe do the five, seven, nine pair hand, so I would hold all those. Really, I don't think we would need the eights necessarily, but since we're holding five through nine, I'm just gonna hold them all. This would take some fancy footwork, but I think that's how I would play this. Discard these first. I think this one was a challenge. Let me know what you thought about this one and what you would do with these tiles. Six, seven, eight, seven, seven, joker bait. We could play probably, I don't know, three, three or four hands out of consecutive run here and maybe switch to five, seven, seven, nine, maybe even a pair hand, depending on how the tiles come in. Sometimes when you get all these drawn tiles, it's very clear what to play, but sometimes not so much five through nine that's a huge spread but building around the multiples i would just get rid of the chaff the dragon in the wind pick by pick wait until i draw in tiles that support the multiples or the predominant pattern 
and go with a category or hand that can best utilize those and whittle out more discards. Eventually, a hand will reveal itself. That's one of the reasons why it's so fun to play Siamese Mahjong, all those tiles, lots of fodder. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next set of random pulls for Siamese Mahjong using National Mahjong League rules, may all your picks be keepers.